often take for granted the role of the people who record data for the weather forecast. We visited the Trinidad and Tobago Meteorological Service to give better insight into the life of a meteorological observer. Meet one of them. My name is Alyssa Guevara and I'm a meteorological observer here at the Med Service. And my job is to observe the atmospheric conditions outside. A rare, highly specialized job on small islands like ours, battling climate change. It takes nine months to become a certified observer by the UN's World Meteorological Organization. The Aerodrome Reports and Forecast booklet is one of the many regulations used to guide their work. The data, noted in code form, may be confusing to us, but for them, common knowledge. We know what each number represents. To you, it might look like gibberish, but to us, it's a complete essay. So if the rain starts, we have to note it. If the rain changes intensity, we have to note it. When the rain stops, we have to notice. When thunder is heard, we have to notice. If we see lightning, we also notice. They do hourly reports to obtain various parameters using different instruments. We have three barometers um, to measure the pressure. Guevara implores the value of taking these pressures as it pertains to the aviation sector. The planes use the pressure to land and to take off. Other instruments include the rain intensity recorder and the anemogram, which measures the wind speed and wind direction on the runway itself. Special reports, species, are done so pilots are informed of changing conditions for takeoff and landing. Retired Captain Roderick Spicer recalls. So they need to know the wind um, direction and speed. They need to know the intensity of the rain, whether there are thunderstorms or not, and the turbulence, because passengers are very concerned about turbulence. And then depending on the destination, if there's fog at the destination, and typically clouds in and around the airport. Safety is the overarching point with regards to the importance of weather observations. Besides the aviation sector, weather data is carefully integrated and utilized in agriculture, fisheries and many other industries for their daily activities. The public often confuses television presenters and the observers at the Met Service, a common misconception Guevara puts to rest. You know, we, prov we provide the news stations with data and information, but we don't present the weather. And that's where we come in. I am Gia Loren Gomez, keeping it green for TTT News.